a formal presentation to the Inland Waterways Association National Chairman, Les Etheridge, was made by former directors of the Severn Navigation Restoration Trust at the Shrewsbury River Festival on the 9th of June 2013, in the presence of the Mayor and Mayoress of Shrewsbury, Councillor John and Mrs Diane Tandy. The Severn Navigation Restoration Trust was wound up in 2012 when its final chairman was David Struckett. One of the founders of the organisation is Christine Wilkinson here on my left and also Arthur Paget, next person along, who was also a director of the trust, enterprising navigator. Susan Wilding, just opposite me there, although We've not built a navigation up to uh, the Iron Bridge Gorge as we had intended to doing. We've learned a lot. We have had some influence in some places, only small. But the work we've done and the archives that we've built up have shown us how perhaps we can do things in an environmentally sensitive manner. We are interested in the river, its wildlife, its flooding, when it goes very low, and all aspects of the control of the river, which sometimes appear to have competing interests. We believe very much, not in compromise, we believe in solving all the problems, preferably without having to limit the benefits in any of those directions. What we've learned is being passed to the Inland Waterways Association, so these things can benefit other rivers as well as the River Severn. And I'm so pleased that our national chairman, Les Etheridge, has been here today to receive this cheque. It's not only the cheque, there are large cupboards of archives, several projectors and so on, and other equipment which we are transferring. It, this may mark the end of the Severn Navigation Restoration Trust, but what we have learned, we hope will be transferred to the Inland Waterways Association. Could I ask the Honourable Mayor to hold this for a moment and pass it on to Les uh, for the cameras? Thank you, everybody, for coming today. And Mayoress, do you want to come in as well? Is that okay? Yeah. David, there you are. <laughs> and to yourself. Right. No, and to yourself. Now we'll have a word from the national chairman of the Inland Waterways Association, Les Etheridge, is here from Thank you, Alan. Thank you, David. All the work that's been done here is not in vain. Let people know it may not have a chance. It's a risk of I hope very much the dream stays alive even if the trust isn't and that one day we will see boats navigating right back up the road to because that would be um, But Really it's just for me today to say thank you to commend all the excellent work that's been done by the trust and for a long period of time. Now we'll have a word from the Mayor of Shrewsbury, Councillor John Tandy. I'm certainly interested. I work for Royal Mail and in the future I'd like to see once Royal Mail is, is gone, it has to get the canal back up all the way to the bus market. Because that's where it needs to be. And we, we need to do that and try and have something all the way around that area by the bus market and have little shops there and other bars and things like that. And I think we need to have a vision of how we can use the canals and the waterways to improve Shrewsbury. Dozens of children flocked to the IWA Shrewsbury District and North Wales branch stand for the chance to make foghorns and pirate headbands and to tie dragonflies, while adults took the opportunity to watch canal videos and talk to experienced waterway users about holidays, day trips and restoration work camps. The Shrewsbury River Festival, with a pirate theme this year, was staged by Shrewsbury and Shropshire Waterways and Leisure Group, chaired by Graham Galliers. We're trying to raise awareness of the waterways in general, that's the rivers, the lakes, the canals, everything in Shropshire that nobody seems to have a real hand 
involved in keeping it clean and keeping it up to date and keeping it maintained and we're just saying yeah we're here we're doing a fun day today it's just for everybody to enjoy but in reality it's to raise awareness of our group which says we want to get the river in particular or oh, first first of all probably that's our first priority and then we move on to the other things when we get more support to, to a better state so we the fishing has a better level of water and a better water content of oxygen and the plants strive better the river is usable by boats whatever they are whether it's from a canoe to you know a, a bigger boat but basically we want it better for everybody to enjoy you've got a lot of support today you've got stalls all the way around here yes we have uh, they're paying a, a nominal sum to be here and i think they're all delighted the way the weather is as we are the organizers so yeah, you can't get it wrong today. It's all working out fine. Excellent.